Hi, in this video I want to talk a little bit about resampling data. That's quite important because sometimes we have data with a one hour granularity but we actually want a one month granularity. And resampling helps us to achieve that. Now there's many ways to do it but the easiest way really is to use pandas for that purpose because it already has inbuilt resampling functions. And I show you a few tricks uh, how you can align the data in a way that suits your needs exactly. Now to start with, uh, we first have to install some packages and the most important one is called YFinance. You've seen it before and it's used uh, to get market data from Yahoo Finance. So let's just install this. And as we do that, you can see it's get some install messages. In my case, it's already been installed. So um, nothing to see here. We also import a few packages of course, we also have to import by finance, which we've, which we've just installed. Then there's NumPy, Pandas. We install PyLab or Matplotlib, uh, DateTime, and a few other packages. So let's just do this here to get it out of our way. The next thing we want to do is download some market data. And this is what I do here using by finance. So I download the whole data set from the beginning to the end. And you can see here, I just picked a few uh, tickers, the one SPY, the S&P 500 ETF, and AAPL Apple. So let's run this. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to extract some data. So I add a code box because uh, at the moment when we uh, look at STK, we can see that we have all the values here adjusted close high low open and volume now what we want to do is just extract the adjusted close so i do this adj stk and then adjusted close so i've got this so now if i if i look at that we can see that we've only got the adjusted volumes for apple and spy here great Okay, so next uh, let's do some resampling. And the simplest and easiest uh, way to resemble is resample is just ADJ. And because it's already a pandas data frame, we can use the pandas functions out of the box. So we just go resample. And then we have to give it a uh, frequency uh, of resampling or period. So in my case, let's just say we want to resample one month. So we put in one M. And then the most important thing is what are we, um, what are we uh, going to do with our resample? Because there's many, many different ways we can resample. We can use the first value of that one month period, the last value. We can extract an open, high, low, close bar of this and other things as well. So uh, the way we can do it is, for example, if we want just uh, the last value or the close value, we do this ADJ resample last. And then you can see here, it actually gives us the last uh, price of each month. And you can see here the dates, 31 uh, of December, 31 of January, 28 of February, and so on. So. There we go, and then you can see here, we've got those values. In fact, um, this value is not the same as this because this is a value from intraday and we have to look at the last value. And so for example, this one here, the 31st of uh, December, this goes uh, with the 1st of December because in this case, today is the 1st of December. So what it does is it resamples to a month and it's got only one data point for this particular month so far, for today, for December. And so it puts that onto the uh, 31st. Now, the interesting thing here is, we ha you remember we have a block of data points, which is one month, and we've got the starting point and the end point. And by default, the uh, uh, pandas puts the label, the date label, for this particular data point on the right hand side. So it means it 
as, as you can see here it puts it right at the end now there is another way so you can actually change this and you can move the label to the uh, left hand side as well and it depends what you really need sometimes you need it one way or the other and you have to see on your specific case uh, which way the label needs to be but important is that you know that this can be done and the way to do this is if we go label equals left and so if we do this then it will actually change uh, the labels here so you can see now it's actually uh, giving the label of the previous month uh, to this last data point you remember this one was the 30th of 31st of December now it's the 30th of November for the same uh, data point uh, that we had in the original data so we just swap the label from one side to the other and this can be really really important now um, other interesting things resampling can do for example is if you do this OHLC that means instead of just producing the last value it actually produces open high low close values for us now I remove this uh, label assignment here again because I generally just use the default value right but sometimes it is actually really good to also go with the left side okay so let's produce some open high low close data for this uh, new series and you can see here now we've got for each month uh, the uh, open high low and close price and again this pro this is basically uh, producing as a candlestick uh, pattern and that can be uh, really helpful for resampling as well now sometimes uh, resampling you also want to uh, take uh, or you want to shift the time series a little bit you don't necessarily always want it right at the end of the month or at the beginning of the month um, you sometimes want it um, at a different spot uh, for various reasons maybe you want to align one time series with another and so on and so one way to do this is to use an offset and uh, the old way to do this was to just say L offset equals and then you just put in what you want for example you want to offset it by one week you can do this and then you can see here suddenly uh, we've got the offset uh, by one week so for example here it's the uh, 5th of, of April or the 5th of September or s and so on so it just shifts it uh, instead of the beginning of the month to the next uh, start of the week of that month which is also sometimes pretty handy instead of one week you could say uh, seven days that there's a difference here so you just sometimes have to be careful if you do for example seven days then you can see it's always the seventh so remember if you do one week it's not equivalent to seven days okay so some sometimes when you do this resampling and the shifting be really really careful what your data actually are and where they sit because if you use other time series that have a different resampling then can get you into trouble if you don't do it the correct way now when I do this here I also get a message that L offset is uh, uh, obsolete in the future and uh, Python gives you a new way of doing it so you can have a look it actually needs to uh, you resample here and then you instead of that you separately change the index you say df index two times stamp and then to offset so this isn't actually happening just yet but in the future you will probably need to use it like this now um, there is other ways to resample and you can apply quite a lot of custom functions to it so for example instead of um, what we see here uh, you could have the mean value of this period uh, and many many other ways many many other things um, even uh, the standard deviation and even you know custom lambda functions if you want to do this we're actually talking about how to use custom functions with pandas 
a little bit later uh, in this uh, course so you will see how this works now if you want to extract data such as volume um, then you probably need to consider other resampling functions so if you say for example use volume what you don't really want is the open or the close value of that one month bar what you probably want is the sum of all the volumes in that one month that gives you a much better idea or for volume that makes a lot more sense so let's just let's just do this so what we do is we say um, vol equals adj and then volume okay so we've got vol ops um, open high low close um, one sec so we just need to check what we did here that wasn't quite oh yes of course we did adjust it we need to do stk stk volume okay so now we've got uh, our volume and let's just double check that this is correct so we got this two series for apple and spy and we've got the traded uh, daily volumes here now let's just say we want the monthly volumes rather than the daily volumes so what we can do is vol.resample and then again 1m one for the month and then we sum it up dot sum and then we get the summed up volumes for each month as you can see here again you can change the labels you can offset the axis and so on so all that is possible now um, another thing you might want is the average daily volume for that specific month then all you need to do is just go mean you run it and then you get the average daily volume uh, for each of those uh, figures obviously um, you can see here SPY at the time 1980 the SPY ETF didn't exist so we have a not a number NAN so it is of course possible to sample to a finer granularity as well now obviously when we do this say we have daily data and sample them to one hour then the data in this one in those one hour periods are not known and so sometimes we need to do this to align it with other data that we have but let's just say uh, let's just see what happens uh, when we do this so I just go back to my adjusted prices and I go on um, resample and I say last just to uh, give it a value and if we run this you could see that a lot of um, the values in here are NANs not a number 